While the skies are clear and the waters are calm, it's the perfect time to prepare for the peak of hurricane season. The St. Charles Parish Emergency Operations Center is calm now, but during a hurricane, the EOC becomes a center of all communications. Hi, I'm Joe Ganote, Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. Our team spends countless hours preparing for hurricane season. And there are two critical steps that you can take now to help protect your family. First, establish a disaster plan, and second, purchase flood insurance in addition to your homeowner's policy. You might think you don't need flood insurance, but the truth is every home and business in St. Charles Parish is vulnerable to flooding. Even if you've lived here 50 years and have never flooded before, you need flood insurance because it only takes one time, that one shift of the storm, to bring massive storm surge to many areas of the parish that have never flooded before. Be assured we are working every day to correct problems and decrease our risk of flooding, but there are no guarantees. The fact is that with over 330 miles of shoreline in the parish, we are at risk whether it is a Category 5 storm or even a tropical depression. And a flood insurance policy is a small price to pay for peace of mind and a means to recover. So the first thing on your preparation list should be to get flood insurance and to get it now. Remember, even if you sign up today, it takes 30 days to take effect, so don't wait until a storm is pending. The more people who are covered, the faster the parish will recover from a catastrophic event. Log on to www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash hurricane. Click on Hurricane Preparedness and follow the link to flood insurance. Here, you'll find interactive tools to calculate the cost of flood insurance in your area and the cost of repairs if you choose not to have flood insurance. When a storm threatens our area, there are many decisions that must be made. The first for each and every one of us is should I stay or should I go? Whether you stay or leave, you need to have a disaster supply kit. Pack your supplies now to avoid a last minute rush for items at the store and keep all your items in a plastic waterproof container. The items to include are water, non-perishable food, clothing, first aid supplies, tools and emergency supplies, special items such as infant and medical supplies, supplies for the elderly or disabled, pet supplies, and a two-week supply of prescriptions, entertainment, and important family documents. And to protect your home from further damage, you should take the following precautions before the storm, regardless if you plan to stay or leave. Protect your windows with shutters or plywood. Clear your yard of potential flying debris and turn off major appliances if you lose electricity. Or if you evacuate, shut off water, gas, and electricity at the main source before you leave. If the parish issues a mandatory evacuation order, all residents should put their personal evacuation plans into action. Shut off electricity at the main source and lock up your home. Fuel and service family vehicles. Use recommended evacuation routes and be sure to leave early before the onset of contraflow. Be sure to bring with you your disaster supply kit, personal hygiene products, sleeping bags, pillows and blankets. Know where you are going and alert family members outside of the affected region of your plans. Do not leave your pets at home. St. Charles Parish's assisted evacuation plan should be used as a last option for those who do not have special needs and have no other means of transportation. Residents wishing to use assisted evacuation should register with St. Charles Parish Emergency Operations now. Pickup by school bus will be scheduled soon after a mandatory evacuation order is issued. Evacuees will be staged at the West Bank Bridge Park in Luling and transported to the parish's shelter site outside of the storm surge area. Please bring only one bag per person. Our assisted evacuation plan does allow for pets. However, there are some rules to follow. Pets will be housed separately. This service is only available to those making use of the assisted evacuation program. Your pet should also have a pet evacuation kit, including food and water for your animal to last at least seven days, as well as enough medication to last for two weeks. Make sure each animal has current rabies vaccinations, license, tags, collar, leash, carrier, and current vet records. It is recommended that you get your pet microchipped 
And if your pet does not travel well, talk to your veterinarian about medicines to ease your pet's anxiety. St. Charles Parish uses an open re-entry approach, allowing all residents and business owners access as soon as authorities deem it safe to enter and move about. In the event of significant damage, it may be necessary to only allow access to essential personnel such as first responders and cleanup crews. The St. Charles Parish Sheriff's Office and Department of Emergency Preparedness will make every effort to allow all residents back as quickly as possible. Stay tuned to local media outlets as well as the parish website for up-to-date re-entry information. To ensure speedy storm-related debris removal, separate all debris into multiple categories. Household garbage, construction debris, vegetative debris, household hazardous waste, white goods, and electronics should all be kept in their own piles. Limit curbside garbage to two 32-gallon containers or eight trash bags. Do not bag storm debris. Refrigerator doors must be secured with duct tape. Any debris placed from the sidewalk toward your property or away from the parish right away near the street will not be picked up. Contractors cannot collect items on private property. Do not set debris against trees or poles. The different types of debris will be picked up on separate passes. Stay away from downed power lines and areas of debris. Report down lines immediately to Entergy or to the St. Charles Parish EOC. Don't walk in flooded areas or standing water. Wet tree limbs can conduct electricity. Once power is restored, check for electrical system damage. If you see sparks, broken or frayed wires, or the smell of hot insulation is noticeable, turn off the electricity at either the main fuse box or the circuit breaker. Stay alert for natural gas leaks. If you smell natural gas or hear a blowing or hissing sound, open a window and leave the area immediately. Do not operate electrical switches. If possible, turn the outside main gas valve off and call the gas company from a neighbor's house. Stay connected during storms and other emergencies. Up-to-date information can be found online, by phone, on television, and on the radio. Additionally, news and emergency messaging are available. Click on Emergency Alert System at www.stcharlesparish-la.gov to sign up for email, phone, and text alerts. For more information regarding hurricane preparedness, visit www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash hurricane and click on Parish Guide. Download the Be Prepared brochure for convenient access for everything you need to know about storm preparation in St. Charles Parish. Now is the time to be prepared and to be sure your family has a plan in place in the event of a hurricane and other storm-related emergencies.